Hi everybody, it's Robin. I'm here with Evil Client. We're starting this tutorial with bright pink and black. And I have my paints out. Uh, pink, blue, black, white, teal, purple. So, I am first going to start with the pink nails. Let me zoom a little bit out so you guys can see what I'm cooking with. Okay. All right. So, basically what I want to do is I want to... Um, paint black on the bottom of this nail as cute as I want like like I want it to be a French manicure but I but I don't care if it goes up high and it or if it bubbles like this or if it leaves a shard like this all of that means nothing if you go across the edge of it all then if you if you have a um, matte top coat I would I would top coat coat once and the, and then let it dry matte a little bit and then continue on when I start the tutorial again but if it's shiny that's fine too it's better with matte and um, just because the the colors just stick better but um, this is basically what you do you just go along the edge I, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go up, down, bubble, bubble, bubble. And I know that this looks easy, you guys, and, and you might not have as much, but I've done this a million times, but you can, you don't have to be absolutely perfect with this step. So just go on like this and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I've added water to all of the colors and uh, mixed white into each one. So I have a light a pink, a green, a purple, and a blue, and so what I try to do is I try to stay in the monochromatic colors. So if I have pink, then I will go into the purple, blue, and green area. So, so it goes into the same ones, or I could go the opposite way and go pink, orange, and yellow. So if you have a, a color chart in, around, uh, make sure that your colors are are the kind of the same. So, so you maybe you'd wanna do dark pink, medium pink, and light pink, or you'd wanna go purple, pink, and blue so they're all like in the same area okay so i'm starting out like that everything needs to be um spritzed with water to keep it nice and hydrated but not too thin because you're going to need these a little bit thicker than normal and what i'm doing is a kind of like an old like okay back in the old days when i used to paint i used to paint all of my designs black first so like most of the time i would um I would paint the nail, the whole nail black, and then I would paint the design in because you have more freedom and you don't mess up as much. But as you get better and better and you start to really improve your craft, this becomes kind of boring. And so, and, and then it starts to look like stickers and it isn't as fun. So I started to take the black out and I, and I, so I've been through like different levels of of learning by myself and I really like this way so I'm just gonna show you one that I like and that makes me happy so I'm going in with blue and I'm just kind of pushing up against the outlines like this and you can draw anything you want inside and as you go through each color it just becomes more and more of that design so I would go all the way up to the edge of the black here and then roll through and don't have a plan just just use your brush and push and pull and then you want to push your, your knuckle cracked. <laughs> push. That's not unusual for me. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> Everything cracks in me. <laughs> push. Don't crack me up. And pull. And. I think my paint's a little bit too thin because I don't have the, the control I'd like, but there. Okay, so as you see, like there you go, there's layer one, okay? Now, you can go into layer two, pink. I'm gonna take, uh, I don't want pink up against pink, so. 
boom just a little and then I take a little pink see how see how I'm just pushing and pulling that's for different line work and it just gives the, the flow to the design here's purple Okay, as the design grows, then you can take this and move your lines around and add lines in and create your own system of how you want this to look. And, and this is an offshoot of graffiti. So, so like if you like doing graffiti and graffiti nails, um, search Robin Moses graffiti. And this is, I have like lots of graffiti nails ideas, but this is basically graffiti like backwards. So, so like you can, you can just do it step by step and get a graffiti look for the summer or for any time of the year, really. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna name, this is gonna be in the what playlist, cute? It would be in the hot or the cute nail playlist because there's lots of graffiti in the hot nail playlist. So, boom. Okay, my I'm starting. My huh? monkeys are in the graffiti playlist too. Oh, you have monkeys there. Yep. The, remember the middle finger rump monkeys? Barely. Oh, I can't. I love those. I want them again. The one monkey was All there right. on my flute. It was on my finger and it was flipping my middle finger. Oh, I remember. Flipping. Okay. Uh, it was flipping after I double flipped people off. Correct. <laughs> I do remember. See, evil client. Because <laughs> <laughs> she I showed herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, let's write this day down. Anyways, there. So we let, look up that monkey. If you want to see me recreate it, leave a comment. Say yes. Tell her to recreate it. I love that monkey. She wants me to paint the monkey. Okay, so there. Okay, so let me go to this one. So, let's see. I'm gonna do some pink. I'm not even sure if it was a monkey. I think it was more of an ape. Man, I wish I could just put a little monkey face in here real quick with a <laughs> hand grabbing a banana coming out of here. And, and you can, really. But I was trying to, I'm trying to show you guys how to do outlining without outlining. And okay, so I got blue and pink. Let me do some teal. All right, Carl. Carl's. Oh my gosh, he's protecting us. So good. Okay, and then with the line. And then you can even and then as it grows you begin to see where you need more stuff so so you just got to take it one color at a time or you can go little by little and color pieces but at a time you can you can look at it once you get it started and say, oh my gosh, that would look so cute with yellow. And then add yellow. But it's good to start out with um, colors that kind of match at first. And especially if your client or someone you, you know, is wearing something specific. So like, let's say she was wearing um, bright pink and blue, you know, these colors, then, then it matches whatever the occasion is. And then you go from there. So if they say, I don't care, then go rainbow or go wherever you want. This would look beautiful done in all neutrals. Um, okay, see, I had to go over this one just to make it a little bit punchier, punchier because it's uh, little. So, orange, blue, purple. Uh, I mean, pink, blue, purple, green. I already have all four colors represented there. Hmm. Okay. So. And then I'll do and then 
the pink. And then I'll just do a little dot. Go up into this little tiny area. Dot. Oh, I must be crazy. You are. I am. I keep telling you, just embrace the crazy. I'm trying. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, so let me finish doing this and I'll meet you back. Okay. Oh, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, so now I have the colors all sketched in, okay? So this is the basic part, right? So these look fantastic, just as is. You could totally top coat these with a, with a mat and they'd be done. But you can also keep going. So if, you go to, if you're gonna keep going, now you're gonna put in the darks. So for the darks, you would just go in and everywhere there's a little bit of a little raindrop or whatever, you just kind of fill it in with a black and kind of make thicker black lines here and there. And I'm sure, there we go. Push, pull, okay, then with the black, and my black is a little bit thick, but I kind of like it right now. And then push. And you see how it cleans up all the lines? I say that as I don't clean up that line, but that's because I'm talking. Okay, boom. Then you go into the next one. I'm gonna, cl I'm gonna clean this up like this. Black, 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 and then I'll go. And push, pull up. Go to the next one. Here, here is a line that I can kind of drop in and then push. And then push. Look around, see where you can sh shore it up, push. And see, it just keeps on getting prettier. So, so then once you get all of your darks, it, okay, here's a good example. Push. See how that just totally cleaned up all that? That's what you kind of want, okay. And then push. This is just so fun. If you have time to like doodle and, and just paint and, and practice with your pushing and pulling techniques while your, uh, your paint, your paint um, thinness and thickness, the colors, this is a good, good uh, design to do when you're learning how to use your brush, you're learning how to use your colors. So I, I, you know what, I would love to see one of these kind of uh, designs done in a collaboration for new artists, even though this isn't for new artists you know what I mean like if you're a beginner this is a good thing for you to get your skills up more quickly because it allows you to use your brush as effectively as you can um, because most of nail art is technique and practice it's not it's not mat it, it is magic in its own way but it is it is practice so here we go we're gonna go like this make this thicker that. Then I'm going to go in, top, touch, 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 pull up. Then I can go back with the black. Okay. Now you can go a shade lighter on every one. So blue would be light blue, purple would be light purple, pink would be lighter pink, or you can go with white and do the highlights. With the highlights, you pick one side of everything, okay? So for this one, what side, what side do I want? I'll pick this side. So highlight, 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 highlight. See how it's on the same side of everything? That's what you want. If I do it too much on both sides, it's just gonna look kind of weird. So you just highlight on one side. So I'm gonna do another one so you guys get it. Okay. Highlight. 
highlight, highlight, pop, 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 pop. Okay. And, and then you get this really groovy um, cartoon effect that's like almost like um, graffiti. You can add it to graffiti. You can turn it into words, anything you want. But um, I will meet you back with the top coat. Okay, now here is the finished nails and I'm gonna try to change the um, lights as we talk. Let me zoom out a little. Okay, so this is with a coat of um, matte top coat and um, what, okay, so I told Evil Client, Evil, Evil Client told me to say this. Okay, so for matte top coat, if you take wet and wild polish and just add a little bit of cornstarch to it and shake it really well, um, that turns it into matte top coat. So if you don't have any and you don't have a lot of money, just put like a like an eighth of a teaspoon into some top coat and shake it really well with a brush and then shake it. It'll turn like a milky white color when it's, when it's right, you know, like this is Dazzle Dry, matte. And that's what I used, but it's like that. And so anyways, there you go. And um, I'm gonna change the lights so you can see. They're dimensional. So look at that. They look like cartoons, they look like graffiti, but they're all yours. You can mix it and match it in any colors. If you try these, please hashtag me, Inspired by Robin Moses. Get your brushes at robinmosesnailart.com. And this one is the wand. Um, I have a striping brush and a liner brush. Um, the cute and the hot playlist should be at the end of this tutorial um, along with the beginners playlist and getting started and hopefully you learned a lot and you pass this on to other people and I just want to wish you guys good luck and have fun and I'll see you back with more. Bye everybody. Bye.